Hey everyone, welcome. This is question 13 from the geometry end of course test for 10 ready. Uh, we're in a calculator applicable section, so you could use it here. So they're telling me that triangle RSV and triangle UST are similar, which means, of course, that they have congruent corresponding angles. So if T corresponds to V, they'd have to have the same measure. And proportional sides, essentially. Uh, corresponding sides are proportional. So if we say that SU is uh, proportional to RS, then they're, or sorry, is corresponding to RS, they should have proportional sides. And you can actually see the pairs just in how we name it. We created a similarity statement here. So we can say that angle R is congruent to angle U. Angle S, and I'm going to go ahead and write out the V there, is congruent to angle S, which would make sense. They're vertical angles. Um, and then angle V is congruent to angle T. And also RS would be correspond, would correspond to US, SV would correspond to ST, and VR would correspond to TU. We learn all that just by looking at the similarity statement. So let's take a look and see if we can figure out, are there any of these that we can know just by what we've been given? Can we say that angle STU is a right triangle? So given what we know, there is a right triangle shown here, this angle, angle R, and we found out that angle U is congruent to angle R based on the similarity statement. So this one must also be a right angle. And since we have a triangle, STU is a triangle, we do know that it is a right triangle. So we're good to go there. Can we know that RS, so this distance here, is 4 thirds x centimeters in length? We don't know yet, so let's do let's create our proportion RV and TU. So see here and here. So I can say RVTU. And I want to know about SU. And the corresponding set there would be RS. So SU is here, RS is here. That's a proportion that we can set up. Now, it doesn't mean that we, what we have is enough, but we can still try, right? So I would say that RV is 3 centimeters. RS is, I don't know, oh, I shouldn't call it X because we already have an X. Call it Y. I do that all the time. SU is X and TU is 4. If we do cross products here, even if we called Y RS, It's 3 4 6 centimeters instead of 4 thirds. So that's out. What else have we got going for us here? We want to know if angle VRS is congruent to, that's what this sign means. See how it's an equal sign there and a little, little tilde? That would be congruent. So we want to know if VRS is congruent to STU. And we know it's not because the angle in the, cent the vertex in the center there, that R and T, should go together and they don't. So that's how. SV is congruent to ST. So we know that SV here and ST, are they congruent? SV and ST are proportional, but not necessarily congruent. So we can't prove that to be true. They must be true. We actually know that they're not, because if this is 4 thirds and this is 3, and all the rest of them work, then they won't, they'll won't. they have a proportional relationship, but they will not have a congruent relationship. So be careful on what little sign they put there. Now, measurement of RVS and measurement of UST equals 90 degrees. This is going to take a little bit of work. What we're looking for is to create a pair. So angle VRS and angle TUS are both 90 degrees. So what we're looking for is a group of two or a pair of two that are complementary. So we need to say, okay, what's R, 
the S congruent to over here. That would be V, so it would be T, so we could say that R V S is congruent to S T U. U S T. So this is the center here. So really, let's just pick a number. It doesn't matter. We're just going to. I'm just doing it to be able to show you the sample. Let's say that R V S is equal to 30 degrees. I'm just making that number up. So we're going to put that here. Now, if we know that S T U is the same, I'm going to put 30 degrees up here. What we've d done at this point is create a situation where we've locked in what this angle is and what this angle is because they're a triangle. So there has to be 180 degrees inside. So I'll just do 180 minus 90 gives me 90. 90 minus 30 gives me 60. So this angle here, RSV, is congruent to UST. just based on the nature of them being triangles. So really what I've created is we have this RVS, so this down here is 30, and this UST here is 60 degrees, and 60 plus 30 is equal to 90. So this one is also true. Now, if you don't want to think about it that way, you can just think, okay, do I create a complementary pair? So you don't have to say, you don't have to create a amount to fill in. It just made it easier for me to vi create a visual here. But let's say that this one is angle 1 and the other one is angle 2. Well, if we look at congruent angles, the one that's congruent to R, V, S would be U, T, S. So this would be angle 1. So by default, this would have to be angle 2. So since I have R, V, S, which is a 1, and U, S, T, which is a 2, 1 plus 2, is equal to 90 degrees. So that's there as well. Anyway, M and T are my answers for number 13.